Hey guys, this is Travis Elliott, and welcome to Power Yoga Break On Through. This class is from Inner Dimension TV, our monthly subscription platform where you can get access to all of my programs, series, and practices. So essentially what you see here on YouTube is just the tip of the iceberg. If you want more, come check us out over at innerdimensiontv.com. Also, make sure that you hit the subscribe button down below and click on the link at the top of the comment section so that I can hook you up with three of my favorite classes, a power yoga class, a yin class, and a meditation that will leave you feeling blissed out and calm. All right, I'll see you on the mat. Enjoy your flow. Come up to Tadasana, either spreading the feet out the width of the hips, or if you want to do big toes together, feel free. And then we'll bring the hands to prayer position right in front of the chest, back to the thumbs, right there at the middle of the heart. And then just allowing yourself to close your eyes, to bring your attention inward inside as you take these opening moments of dropping into that yoga zone, stepping away from just all the things that are going on in your life and happening in the world right now in these 45 minutes is just time solely devoted to you. And in honor of Jim Morrison and the song Break On Through to the Other Side, by the end of this practice, we will be on the other side, the other side of stress, the other side of tension, the other side of negativity. We'll be on that side where we feel open and unlimited and powerful and just ready for whatever's coming our way. From here, begin to find that smooth flow of breath just coming in and out through the nose, that ujjayi breath. course, allowing this breath to be one of the tools to help reinforce the foundation of the class where your mind is steady, and then the movements become steady, and that you move through the inevitable adversity that arises on your yoga mat with strength and grace and power and equanimity. And this is strengthened through the evenness of the breath. Keeping what you've established here, go ahead and open up the eyes, circle both arms up to the sky on the inhale, interlacing the fingers, turning the palms inside out, and then we'll lean to the right on the exhale, just coming into a nice little good morning side bending stretch as you begin to stretch those ribs there on the left side of the torso, just stretching that out. Take a big inhale, deepen that. And then exhale, come all the way back up. Hold for the inhale. And then go ahead and lean to the other side on the exhale. And now breathe into your right lung. And feel that rib swing breath. As you breathe in, the diaphragm pushes down, the ribs swing out. And then as you exhale, the diaphragm floats up and those ribs swing back in. Awesome, you guys. Inhale, come all the way back up to middle. And then forward fold, exhale, go ahead and dive all the way down low. Flat back on and inhale, either hands to shins or fingers on the ground. And then step back to plank pose. And we're just going to hold this pose for the rest of the class. <laughs> Good. Palms are strong, pressing down into the ground. Just establishing that strength in your shoulders, your chest, your triceps. And then feel your navel lifting up and in towards the front of the spine. So you activate your core. So much power in that abdominal area. Take a good by inhale there. And then exhale lower slowly all the way down, down, down. Cobra on and inhale. Chest up. Shoulders slide down the back. And then downward dog. Exhale. Tuck the toes. Lift the hips. Drop the head and come back to that wave of breath. So here we are in our first downward facing dog. Spread the hands out a little bit wider than the shoulders. Open those fingers out wide as can be. Dig those palms down into the mat. And just feel, feel what you're feeling. You're feeling a little tight right now. That's not uncommon. 
You might feel a little, little tired or sluggish if you're practicing first thing in the morning. So just feel what you're feeling. And there's nothing that you need to push away. And there's also nothing that you need to cling to. Just allow that impermanence of sensation, of breath, of thoughts and feelings to just flow, to be what it is. And all we have to do is just watch and observe. So you're in that dimension we call the awareness dimension, just aware of what's transpiring moment to moment to moment. From here, take an inhale, press back into those hips. And then exhale, walk or jump, both feet lightly, top of the mat. Flat back, inhale, spine lengthens out. Forward fold, exhale, let it go. Circle the arms up to the sky, inhale, interlace the fingers, turn the palms inside out. And then lean to the right side, exhale, side bend, stretch. Straight up on the inhale. And then other side, exhale, easily. Come back up on the inhale, and then forward fold, exhale, just dive all the way down. Flat back, inhale, extend and lengthen out. Step or jump back, lower down, vinyasa, out breath. Cobra on the inhale, arch in that back. And exhale, down dog, tuck the toes, lift those hips. Take three or four breaths there. So one thing that we have to do is to really break on through to the other side is to use our breath as a way to dissolve the tension away, to dissolve that stress away. So try not to ever let an inhale go by where you're not pulling that breath down deep as can be. And just allow that breath to carry you to a whole other elevated state of body, heart, and mind. From here, shifting forward onto plank position. And then holding there, we're going to lift that right foot off the ground, just hovering that right leg, keeping both hips even with each other. So the right hip, the same height as the left hip, and your back foot flexing. Take a good bye inhale there. Set the right toes down onto the ground, second side. Lift that left foot up. And as you do that, you're strong in your upper body, you're strong in your hands, but you're relaxed in your face, you're soft in your jaw, you're not gripping anywhere unnecessarily. Take an inhale, goodbye, toes on the ground, exhale, take a goodbye inhale, plank, and then down dog, exhale, hips draw up. Woo, take an inhale, press back into those hips, and then exhale, walk or jump, both feet top of the mat. Flat back, inhale, heart lengthens out. Forward fold, exhale, dissolve. Circle those arms up, inhale, interlace, palms to the sky. Take it to the right side, stretch long left side. Straight up on the inhale, we stroll. Other side, moving with soul. Good, inhale, and the rhythm of the breath come up. Forward fold, exhale, chest right on top of legs. Flat back, pull that inhale deep. And then step or jump back, lower down with that upper body strength. Cobra on the inhale, it's a back massage. And exhale back, downward facing dog, breathe. All right, you guys, the body's warming up. The fire's getting stoked. From here, plank pose, upper push-up position. Lift the right foot off the ground, strong between your thumbs and your indexes. And then we're gonna bring the right knee to the right tricep. Hold that for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, right leg back. Exhale, set it on the mat, and then lift the left foot up. Hold there, take a couple of breaths. Just keeping the breath flowing, because your breath is your fuel. Left knee to left tricep, little isometric hold, five, four, three, two, one. Left leg back, inhale, set it down, exhale, take a good bye, inhale, downward dog on the exhale. Next inhale, drive back, tops of the thighs, don't be mad at me. <laughs> exhale, walk or jump, both feet top of the mat. 
Good, flat back, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Circle those arms up, inhale. As you press to lift, interlace, palms up. And then to the right side, exhale, starting to loosen up a little more. Come up on the inhale. Other side, exhale. Straight up, inhale. And then forward fold, exhale. Just a meditation, that's all. Flat back, inhale, moving with awareness. Step or jump back. Lower down, elbows in, weight forward. And then cobra, inhale. And then downward facing dog, exhale. All right, everybody, that, that feels good for those. Let's go ahead and move on from there. Let's come back to plank pose. So upper push-up position. And then this time, lift your right foot off the ground again. But bring your right knee to your left tricep. So you cross over. Hold that for five, four, three, two, one. Right leg back, inhale. Set it on the mat, exhale. Lift that left foot up. And then left knee, right tricep, little side abdominal hold, five, four, three, two, one. Left leg back, inhale. Set it down, exhale. Take a good by inhale. And then down dog, exhale. Let's hold there, big inhale through the nose. And then out the mouth, let it go. Oh, good. Inhale, press back. And then exhale, walk or jump, top of that mat. Inhale, flat back, forward fold, exhale. Go ahead and lift your left leg off the ground, parallel to the floor. Put a little micro bend in your right knee, and then let's go flying together, airplane, just spreading those arms out wide or reaching them straight down by your sides. As you elevate again, your body, your heart, and your mind, getting a little light, Getting a little free. Take one last good by inhale there. Set both hands to the ground. Keep your left leg in the air. Good. Walk your hands in towards your right foot, right leg. Standing splits. And look, if you're practicing at home with us, you want a little less intensity, put a block underneath your hands. Back off if that's what your body needs. And if you want more fierceness, more intensity, and then grab the back of that right foot with one or both hands and take yourself as deep as you need to go. But make sure it's the wisdom that's leading you into the pose. Take a good by inhale, left leg up, and then drop the left toes to the back of the mat into a runner's lunge. Hug your inner thighs in towards each other and then lean into the left hand. Take that right arm and reach it all the way up to the sky. Good, drive down into that left hand. Extend up through that right arm. Good, and look at these guys in that purifying sweat. Good, like a baptism of fire. Good, roll those bottom ribs underneath and in, and then reach the right arm forward and out. We don't work with fake sweat here at Interdimension TV. We use that hard earned purifying sweat, the real deal holy field. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, set it down. Step the left foot forward, top of the mat. Flat back, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Good. Now airplane on the other side. Just lift your right leg off the ground. Put a little micro bend in your left knee. And then when you're ready, just lift up, take flight, and notice that as you do this pose, you're not holding your breath. Because when you hold your breath, you hold your power. And this is called power yoga because it's meant to empower you. So breathe larger than life and tap into a power that you don't even know exists until you start to feel every cell in your body just celebrating with aliveness. Take one last inhale there. Set both hands down. Keep that right leg in the air. Good. Walk your hands in towards your left foot. Start to close the gap between your chest and your left thigh. Good. And of course, you're going to feel the tightness and the tension in the back of that left leg. Good. That's exactly 
what the pose is supposed to show you. Just places in the body that need a little attention. They need a kind little touch. They need your love. Take a good by inhale, right leg up, and then drop the right toes softly to the back of your yoga mat. Hug the inner thighs in towards each other, and then lean into the right hand. Take that left arm and just float it all the way up. Pressing into the right hand, pulling up through that left arm, and just enjoying what we call a shearing rotation for your fascia. So these twists where you revolve the torso, it just touches the fascia in a whole different, unique kind of a way. And when the fascia is healthy, the whole body is healthy because your fascia is your largest tissue structure. Open up the left chest, extend that left arm forward and out. Good, roll those bottom right ribs underneath and in. Roll those top left ribs to the sky. Give it one last reach, goodbye. Left arm up, inhale. Set it down, right foot forward, top of the mat, exhale. Now flat back, inhale. Forward fold, exhale, feet together, bend the knees, squat down. And then chair pose. Take an inhale, sit back, lift and reach. And then forward fold, exhale. Straighten those knees. Flat back, inhale, long as can be. Step or jump back, lower down with pure upper body strength. Cobra up dog, inhale, bend. Exhale, down dog. Good, right leg up, inhale, lift. And then right foot top of the mat, swing it all the way through. Now let's set the belly right on top of the right thigh and then extend both arms straight down by your sides. Good, bend your right knee right above your right heel, right ankle, and then reach back dynamically through the fingertips, through both of those arms. Feel your heart lengthening, pulling forward. Good, keeping that torso where it is. Extend both arms straight out in front of you. Take a few breaths there. Now you have a choice. As you feel the challenge, you can either meet the challenge with reactivity or you can meet it with equanimity. See if you can spin the challenge to your advantage and help it help you break on through to the other side. Take another inhale, reach out, arms behind, exhale. Good, crescent pose, inhale, rise all the way up. Breathe. Oh. Good, now take another inhale, reach up all the way through the fingertips, and then hands to prayer position right in front of the heart. Like yoga tai chi, inhale, move the hands apart, and then exhale, palms back together. Circle the arms up, inhale, reach, maybe lean back and look up, and then vinyasa lower all the way down. Just moving with the fluidity of breath. Huge inhale, arching that spine. Exhale, down dog. Second side, left leg up, inhale. Top of the mat, exhale. Set the belly on left thigh. Extend both arms straight down by your sides. Good, I'm feeling the fire, but I don't mind it because I know that fire is the element of transformation. I know it's the fire that takes me from one state to another state. So instead of fighting the fire, I love the fire. I respect the fire. Good. Now, speaking of fire, extend both arms straight out in front of you. Good. And feel that fire ability. And breathe. See if you can open up to it and spin it to your advantage. Take another inhale, reach. Arms behind, exhale. Good. Crescent pose, rise. Both arms all the way to the sky. How's that fire feeling there, Mike? Pretty hot. Pretty hot. That's the way fire is, right? Like, how else is it going to be? It's got to be hot. Good. Take an inhale. Reach up. And then hands to prayer position in front of the heart. Spread the arms out. Inhale. Palms together. Exhale. Circle those arms up. Inhale. Lift and reach. And then vinyasa. All the way down with impeccable strength. Cobra up dog, inhale, it's a beautiful day. Exhale back, down dog, breathe. 
Woo. All right, you guys, now we're going to take what you just did. We're going to pick up the pace. We're going to bring one breath into one movement. We're going to elevate the heart. And uh, we're just going to take this class to the next level. This is the part of the class where you really get the opportunity to break through that wall, that wall of stagnation, that old you. So let's slip into a whole other paradigm. Here we go. Inhale, press back. Exhale, walk or fly top of the mat. Flat back, inhale, spine out. Forward fold, exhale, squat low. Chair pose, inhale, lift and reach. Forward fold, dive and release. Flat back, inhale, breath deep. Step or jump back, lower down, defy gravity. Cobra, inhale with sensitivity. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, top of the mat. Crescent pose, inhale, rise straight up. Hands to prayer, exhale. Spread wide, inhale. Palms together, exhale. Circle the arms up, inhale. And then vinyasa all the way down with control. Take an inhale, breathe it through the nose. Exhale, down dog in the flow, left leg up, inhale. Flow it deep, exhale. Good. Inhale, rise from strength. Exhale, hands to prayer mindfully. Open out, inhale, expand. Exhale, back together again. Circle those arms up, inhale, maybe lean back. Exhale, all the way down towards your yoga mat. Cobra up dog, inhale. And then down dog, exhale, let's keep it moving. Inhale, press back. Exhale, walk or jump top of the mat. Flat back, inhale, lengthen. Forward fold, exhale, squat. Chair pose, inhale, little bit of cardio. Forward fold, head low. Flat back, breath deep. Step or jump back, lower down, steady. Inhale, bend the spine gently. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, lift that right leg up. Exhale, flow it through. Inhale, come up, steady and smooth. Exhale, hands to prayer in that yoga groove. Inhale, Tai Chi. Exhale, gather energy. Inhale, lift with levity. Exhale, lower down with that equanimity. Inhale, flowing through the adversity. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, flow it deeper. Good. Inhale, lift a little higher. Exhale, stoke in that fire. Inhale, spread a little wider. Exhale, bring it to the insider. Inhale, circle it up. It rhymed. Exhale, vinyasa all the way down. Good. Inhale, arch in that back. Exhale, down dog. Hold there. Big inhale through the nose and out the mouth. Let it go. Woo. Good job, you guys. You broke on through to the other side. Now, there's still a little bit more to break through, but uh, let's do this. Walk your hands to the back of your yoga mat and just grab your big toes with your first two fingers. Little break in the action. And on a big inhale, pull the heart forward, up and out. And then forward bend, exhale. Just let the weight of your head go. Curl the chin in towards the top of the chest. And just enjoy several breaths. Feel your body and its warmth just getting a little bit more open. And I love that sensation where the tension starts to melt away. You know, it's like you're giving yourself just a powerful massage. The body starts to open, the lungs open, the mind opens, the heart opens, because it's so easy to feel contracted like a vice grip just winding us up tighter and tighter and our yoga practice is here to reverse that process and then we start to feel just more free and more light release the big toes bring the hands around behind the lower back and interlace the fingers and just draw draw your arms towards straight breathe Make each breath count. 
This is time solely devoted to you to give back to yourself so that you feel good. And when you feel good naturally, your thoughts, your words, your actions, they get supported by that goodness. Take a good by inhale, deepen in, and then both hands down to the ground. Go ahead and walk the hands forward and out, and we'll sink and link back up in our downward facing dog. Fingers are still spreading, palms still driving, hips still sloping. Beautiful. Now from here, inhale, lift that right leg up. Right knee, left tricep, exhale, under and over. Inhale, right leg back. And then right arm, exhale, give it a little touch. Inhale, right leg back. Right knee, left tricep. Hold right there, spin the back foot flat. Lean into the right hand and shoot that left arm to the sky. Extend that bottom right leg out. And if it's available for you, you could even lift it off the ground. And sometimes all you need is a little helping hand. Look at that. Take an inhale, open up. Exhale, left hand down to the ground. I got you. Inhale, right leg draws back. Exhale, right foot, top of the mat. Good. Step the left foot forward about a foot or so. And just straighten your right knee, right leg. Turn the left toes forward to face the top left hand corner of your mat. And at home, make sure that your left heel is connected all the way to the ground. If it's not, you're just going to slide that left foot forward as much as you need to. And you can place your hands on top of two blocks if you want, on top of your right shin. So just make it work for you. Good. Now on an inhale, extend the heart forward and out. And then exhale right on top of that right thigh. Just let that whole torso go. Sometimes the pendulum in yoga is swinging to intensity, fierceness, challenge, and sometimes it's swinging into pleasure and gentleness and ease. But regardless of which category the yoga pose falls into, your mind still remains steady and your breath still remains steady. So you're training your ability to maintain your inner power regardless of your outer environment. And if you can do that in a yoga flow, then you can do it in a light flow. Now go ahead and lean back into that left hand and then reach the right arm to the sky. And let's come into twisting triangle pose. Now let your left heel be your anchor. So that anchor just solid and firm down into the ground. Take the top of your right thigh, draw that back. Very subtly bend the right knee, super, super minimal, just to make sure that you don't lock out through that right knee joint. Keep hugging your inner thighs, your inner femur bones towards each other, and then pull your heart forward, upward and outward. Beautiful, you guys. Take an inhale, goodbye, open up. And then exhale, right hand, all the way down to the ground. Good. Now, start to crawl your hands forward. Start to put a little bend into that right knee. And then lift your left leg off the ground, parallel to the floor. Good. Keeping your hips in that neutral rotation, so both hips on the same plane. Lean back into your left hand. Take that right arm and reach it all the way up to the sky. So twisting, half moon balancing pose. Flex that back left foot and then charge out long and strong through that left leg. And just like the previous pose, keep those inner thighs hugging in. Extend the heart forward. Good, roll the right chest open. If it's in your practice, you can even look up towards the sky. Take one last inhale, goodbye. Set the right hand down and left foot releases top of the mat. Flat back, inhale, forward fold, exhale. Bend the knees, squat back, chair pose. Reach both arms all the way up to the sky. 
Good, hands to prayer position in front of your heart. And then right elbow to the outer left knee, left thigh. Other side, Noah. Good, turn to the left. So it's a counter twist because the last pose, you twisted to the right, and now we're twisting to the left. You're heavy in the heels, you're active in the glutes, you're extending your heart forward, upward, and out. And if you feel like you want a little bit more, you could bring your hands onto the floor and do a little side crow. So fingertips face the left, and then you climb aboard both knees on top of the ledge of that right tricep. Good, or you could drop the right hand down on the outside of your left foot and then reach the left arm to the sky. Now, if you're in the side crow arm bounce, just give it one last little balance to float and then both feet on the ground. Chair pose, inhale, everybody reaches up, and then forward fold, everybody lets go. Good, flat back, inhale, everybody breathe low. Now step back to plank, pause there, upper push-up position. Good, both forearms come down to the ground. Forearm, plank pose. Get your hands set, and then root, root down into those forearms. Press into those elbows. Remember to keep that face soft. Good. We're here for five, four, three, two. Back to plank for one. All the way up onto the hands. Take a good by and help plank. And exhale, lower down, chaturanga. Cobra up dog, inhale. And then down dog, exhale. Let's take a big inhale through the nose, and then out the mouth, let it go. Woo. Oh. All right, now left leg up, inhale. Left knee, right tricep, exhale, cross. Inhale, left leg back. Left knee, left arm, touch. Inhale, left leg, cruise back. Right arm, exhale. Hold there, back foot flat, spin into the left hand, and then reach that right arm up as you extend your left leg out like a yoga ninja. Take an inhale, open sesame, exhale, right hand to the ground. Inhale, left leg back, and exhale, flow it top of the mat. Hop your right foot forward about a foot or so. Straighten your left knee, left leg. Take an inhale, extend and pull your heart up and out, and then fold, exhale, fold. And what are you feeling right now within your body? What's that sensation like? And then where do you feel it? Where's the location of that sensation? And can you just breathe into that? Can you get so dialed into it that you start to notice how these sensations, like waves, they arise and then they inevitably disappear. These sensations are just coming and going. Your whole body on a subatomic level is just a field of moving energy arising and passing. It's all impermanent. And when we awaken to this impermanence, we become free. Our wisdom, our understanding, our knowledge, it all deepens. Good. Now lean into your five right fingertips and then reach your left arm all the way to the sky. Twisting triangle on the other side. Hugging in through those inner thighs. And that stability in the hips and the pelvis, it really makes sure that you're twisting from integrity. Heavy in that back heel, each inhale, spine lengthening out a little more, and each exhale, left chest rolling open a little wider. Take one last inhale, find your climax, and then exhale, left hand to the mat. Good, crawl your hands forward, lift your right leg off the ground, parallel to the floor, and most importantly, just keep breathing. Even if you're taking a break, just keep breathing. Even if you go into the refrigerator and grabbing a cold beer, just keep breathing. 
Good. Lean into your five right fingertips. Hopefully it's not a beer. Reach that left arm to the sky and come into twisting half moon. Good. Now you're twisting, you're strengthening, you're lengthening, and you're balancing. So we're throwing a lot at you right now in this pose. And then on top of that, see if you can bring a little smile to your face. Good. That's the advanced yoga that we're after. Finding pleasure and discomfort and challenge where you have the attitude that says, hey, bring on the challenge. I'm here to grow. Take an inhale, open up wide. Set the left hand, right foot down, top of the mat. Woo, flat back. Inhale, it's another beautiful day. Forward fold, exhale, squat back. Chair pose, inhale, in LA. Hands to prayer in front of the heart. Good, now let's twist it to the other side. Left elbow to the outer right knee, right thigh. Chair twist. Let's do it. You just keep breathing. You just keep moving. And we're going to break on through to the other side. The whole rest of your day is going to be magnificent because of the seeds that you're planting right now. And you nourish those seeds. You grow those seeds. And then it begins to bear fruit. Good. If you haven't already, little side crow, almost forgot. Hands to the outer edge of that right foot, fingertips to the right. And here we have the beautiful Rachel just demonstrating strength, lightness, and grace. One last twist, goodbye. Chair pose, inhale, both arms up. And then forward fold, exhale, let it go. Good, flat back, inhale. Vinyasa, exhale. The last one of the class. Cobra, up dog, inhale, and then down dog, exhale. Take a big inhale, press back, relax the knees down onto the mat. Good, crawl your knees forward, top of the mat, cross the feet behind you, release down onto your sit bones, and then come all the way down onto your back, all the way onto the floor. Get onto the back, reach your hands forward, grab your shins. Pull those knees into your belly and then lift both legs straight up to the sky, keeping the lower back on the ground. And then just reach both arms forward, but lift your arms up about maybe four or five inches off the ground. Chest up, head up, shoulder blades off the ground. As we give that abdominal wall, just a little, little touch. Good. Keeping the chest up, try and keep your neck relaxed. And then lower your right leg down till it's also just a few inches above the ground. And chest is still drawing up towards your left thigh. Both arms still reaching forward and out. And then we'll switch legs. So the right leg comes up and the left leg comes down. And another moment, another opportunity to just practice staying calm and steady even in a difficult position. Good. Now both legs up chest up a little bit more take one last inhale reach and squeeze and then grab the shins and release everything down oh beautiful you guys beautiful plant both feet flat on the ground slide your heels in towards your sit bones and then lift your hips up coming into bridge pose bridge we start to wind the class down. You know, it's amazing. Even in 45 minutes, 45 minutes, how much ground you can cover, how good you feel. We don't always have 90 minutes for a yoga class. So even 45 minutes, 30 minutes, 20 minutes, something is always better than nothing. Feel free to stay in bridge, or if you like, upward bow, shifting the hands back by the ears, fingers forward, and just pressing yourself all the way up as you spiral your inner thighs towards each other. Take 
One last inhale there. And exhale, relax everything softly to the ground. Reach your hands forward. Grab your shins. And just pull both knees back into the belly. Take your arms, spread those out like a T. Or you can cactus the arms, bending the elbows. And just take both knees to the right. Just coming into a little double knee. Reclining spinal twists. Feel your breath smooth and back out. Feel your heart rate coming back down. And as you do come to the other side, where you feel alive and awake, fresh and pure, change your blood chemistry, feeling that gratitude gratitude that you have this practice and the gratitude that you took this time out of your day to take care of yourself. Both knees all the way back up to middle and the same thing to the other side. Just let those knees drape all the way over. So this idea of self-care is so important because if we don't care for ourselves then we burn ourselves out. We've got nothing to give. So we've got to take this time to give back to ourselves. And even prolific athletes like LeBron James, he spends $1.2 million on his self-care routines. Because they know that it takes that much energy to keep him sustained at this high level of professional athleticism. But if he didn't take the time for self-care, he's not going to last as long. He's not going to be in the game as long. So we're our own versions of these athletes. We have so many demands in our life. And yoga and meditation here on Interdimension TV, it's here for you every day. Inhale, both knees all the way back up. Grab the shins, draw those thighs in. Curl the forehead up to the knees. Take a good by and held deepen in. And then exhale, Shavasana. Release, relax. Everything down onto the mat. And this is the ultimate self-care. Just allowing yourself to take a deep dive for a couple of minutes. Maybe moving so deep that you move beyond your name and your identity and all things in that world of form and duality. And you come back to the heart and soul of yoga, the dimension of unity. Or just drop deep. Everybody, if you want to stay here longer in this resting pose, it would be ideal to, you know, just hang out maybe a little bit longer if you have the time. But officially, we're going to say that this, this class is done. And I would have to imagine that Jim Morrison would be proud of what you just did. So good job. Have a beautiful, beautiful rest of your day. Much health, much wealth, and much love. Namaste. Well, it looks like you made it through and you broke on through. Good job, thank you for your practice today. 
Remember to hit that subscribe button down below. Click on the link at the top of the comment section so that I can send you an email for those three classes. And also drop me a comment down below and let me know how your practice was, how it felt, and where you're practicing from. Love to see those comments and see our global community that's growing all across the world. Thanks again, and I'll see you soon.